That's why I love my ministry. That's why I never want to quit. I never want to quit on this church because of people like that. Because of people who have invested in my life. And you have that opportunity every time you come here, every time you see each other. You have that opportunity to invest in people's lives. You have that opportunity to invest in the younger generation and even in the older generation. It's important to administer grace. You know, as I close, I want us to, to realize this. In 2007, Science Magazine, they put together a, a group of people, and they microphoned people. And so what they did was they just, they did that for the purpose of just counting how many words are said. How many words are spoken. And... On average, women speak 16,125 words. I know that's not surprising to many of you. Probably hear it all the time. Men, they speak 15,669 words. So, that means on average, we as people, we speak close to 16,000 words a day. <coughs> 16,000 words. We speak 16,000 words. So my challenge to you is how are you going to use those words? How are you going to use those 16,000 words that you have been graced to give people? Are you just going to empty your minds and just try to speak as many words as you can? Or are you actually going to try to think of what you're going to say? The quality of what you're going to say and affect someone's life. <clears throat> and make an impact on someone's life using your words. How are you going to use your words? You know, what I love about God's word is it always gives grace. It always gives grace. And his words can never be improved upon. They, would, they can never be improved. They're perfect. And so as I close, I want us to think of Jesus on the cross. And I want us to think of the words that he spoke. When he said, Father, forgive them. He says, Father, forgive them. And he does it on our behalf. He does it for, for people who are sinful, who mocked him, who spit at him, who nailed him to the cross and watched him die. He did it for sinners like us. And you know what that tells me? If he can do that to a bunch of people that hate him, and he can still say, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do, that gives me hope. That gives me hope as a sinner. But it gives me hope because I'm a sinner that's been saved by grace. And that gospel is working in me. And because of that work that Jesus Christ did on the cross, it allows me to have hope for change. It allows me to have hope that, you know what, I don't have to be that same old person I used to be. And now, instead of just belittling people, instead of cutting people down constantly, I can use my words to build that cathedral. To build this church, to edify the people that I love. And so, I challenge you this week, let's change the way we speak to one another. Let's change how we talk about one another. And let's use edifying words and build each other up. And actually love each other through that. So let's pray. Dear God, I thank you, Lord, for your grace. I thank you, Lord, for, for the work that you've done on the cross. and the supernatural work that you've done in our hearts. It's amazing that you would take dry bones like us and you would put flesh, tendons, and skin, and, and just muscle 
and then breathe into us the life of your gospel that we can be alive in you 